welcome back. Um, I've got two journals to share with you guys today. Um, this one is Faith and this one is Hope. I'm going to go through Faith first and show you. This is a two signature uh, journal and it measures five and three quarters by nine inches and as you can see it's um. I've created the cover with, I put fabric, and then I've come back with several different vintage uh, laces that I've got in my collection, and I've just layered those up, and then I've stitched it in with a five-hole pamphlet stick, and then I did some uh, collaging on the front, uh, stamping on muslin, and then some more vintage and uh, lace, and then a digital image that I've stitched around, done some collaging with more lace, and then these are just some old buttons that I had. It's got a uh, fabric closure that's been sewn into the journal. So we'll go inside. I love this journal. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, these papers are... I'll put the link below because I can't recall, guys. Um, but I will put it below. I think it's TLC, but it, it could be um, Paper Artsy on Etsy. But either way, I'll put the link below uh, so you guys can can find it. It's papers, and then there's a few tags come with it. But I've created a lot of different ephemera. Um, so we'll just get going. Um, I'm going to try to move a little bit quick on this because I've got the two to try to get out. Um, I've done fabric um, snippet type tabs on both journals. <coughs> Here I've created a pocket. This is one of the um, journaling pages. I've just backed it with some cardstock and then I've included a printed out old receipt. Avocado dyed papers um, in both journals as well. And gosh, just a collection of um, some of my ephemera that I've got um, that I thought match, you know, coordinated nicely with it. So this is a double tuck. I love these papers, I think they're so pretty. Um, here I've done a little flip out with a pocket and then there's a double pocket and I've just added this. This was an extra from um, the little ephemera pack that you get. This is the size tags so you need to be aware of that. That's that's the size that the, the tags will be um, with this. I just thought it would be kind of fun to uh, work with, with some different papers another fabric uh, snippet here. This is one of my snippet uh, pockets. I've done some collaging. Isn't she gorgeous? And then I just added various. Um, this has been stamped on and I cut out some extra um, cardstock I had that coordinated with it. Some more of the avocado skinned uh, dyed paper. This is the center of the signature. You've got two pockets here, there's another little postcard, and then you've got a couple pockets here, and then here I've added this old um, index card, it's, it's really yellowed, and then I did a bit more distressing, and then I've stitched on this tiny um, butterfly so that you've got the dimensional butterfly. I love doing those. And then here is just another little journaling card that I've included. Added some little rosettes there. It's just really pretty colors. You've got the blush pink, um, the black, some kind of like, um, oh, I don't know, kind of like a light, light brown. They're just, it's just very, very nice uh, kit, I think. Um, like I said, there's not a, a lot of ephemera with it, but the papers are really, really just pretty. I think they're, they're, they'll be nice to 
you know, I, I can see a lot of use for them was why I went ahead and purchased that because um, I do love the images with the tape measure. I think that's nice. And this is just various pockets because, um, like I said, you, you only get the circles and the, um, the tags with that kit. So I've added pockets from various um, kits that I have in my stash. <coughs> This is some um, Tracy Fox ephemera. I'm sure that was a tsunami rose. So I tucked those in here. I really love how that's come out. I had some extra piece of the avocado paper when I trimmed. So I've just stitched that and made a ruffle out of it. And then I added another little um, flower embellishment there. As you can see, there's a lot of room for journaling here. I've just added some extra cutoffs of tea, tea dyed papers that I had. I've stitched it in, so you've got another little notebook there. There's the paper. And this is, I'm really pleased how that's come out. I'm trying to, um, you guys know, I'm trying to clear out my stash. So I've, I've been trying to um, dig out things that maybe have been buried. I don't know about you, but if they get buried into my, um, drawers, I tend to just grab what's on top, so it's this weekend, is, I've spent the weekend just really going through and uh, clearing out. I've done a lot of fabric bundles that I've added to my shop, so if you guys are looking for a nice um, variety of fabrics, check out my shop because I've got some really uh, beautiful fabrics that I've made bundles. Um, this, I've added um, one of my little fabric postcards. I thought that matched nicely with it. Here is another little flip out with another um, envelope. So you got a double pocket there. I love that page. Isn't that beautiful? And then here I've done an altered um, paper clip. And then I just <coughs> collaged onto this little um, this is a freebie from Nick the Booksmith, so go to her site if you want to get some freebies. And then here, this is another one of the tags that you get with the kit. And then this is, uh, I believe this is Tracy Fox ephemera. She has beautiful ephemera. Um, this is the center of the second signature. And um, I've done one of the little tucks out of the, um, you stitch down. I've done this tutorial before, um, so you just look back through the video if you're interested in learning how to make those. They're really easy. That's a nice way to use up your book pages. And then these are the circles I'm talking about that you get. You get a sheet of those, which is really nice. So I've made a little tuck spot there. This is just some, um, another image I thought looked really nice on that black background. And then you've got more pocket space there. Another collage tag. It's very shabby chic. You guys know I love <coughs> I love to work with the, the shabby chic, but it's uh, it's nice to mix things up because you do get bored with one style. This is another journaling card. Another tag that comes with this. And so I tuck that there. More avocado skinned dyed paper. I love that. Isn't that pretty? And that's one of my dimensional butterflies. I love to put those in my journals. I just think they're really sweet. When you're writing, you've got those. And then they flatten down nicely. Here's another um, vintage receipt I found online. I printed that. This is from Tracy Fox. And this is as well, this is from her faux ephemera kit. And that's another tag. So I've tried to include a lot of extra little bits with this. Here, um, that's a beautiful eyelash trim. And then I've just added that to the alter, uh, alteration tag. Created a pocket back here. So it's a nice big journal. Here I've used some of my um, 
I love that trim and I've really been hoarding that. I think that's the last of that. I hate to see it go because that is beautiful. It's, I don't know if, it, if the camera's picking it up, but it's white <clears throat> with really pale pink. It's just so pretty. But I believe that was my last piece of that. So I've got to get to the um, my lady who has all my the beautiful antique trims. I'm hoping to see her in two weeks' time. So, <laughs> so I'm getting low on my vintage trims now. A couple more little journaling tags tucked in there. This flips out so you've got extra writing space. And there's another one of the snippet tabs. I love those. And then I've just tucked another one of those bingo cards in here. Then you've got another little shabby chic journal card. And then this is the back of the journal. You've got a couple more tags, another journal card, and then this little bitty one. And then a rosette there. So there you go, guys. That's Faith. And this will be listed in my shop. So if you're interested, I'll put the link below for that as well. Um, and then we'll try to get through. Let me check the time. Yeah, we're good. I think we can get through. Hope. I've named this one Hope. <clears throat> I just couldn't think of another, another name. Um, this is done with some ticking. I've sandwiched some cheesecloth between it, and then it's also got some batting in there, so it feels really, really nice. It's a two-signature, Clo the closure sari silk, lots of layering on here with various fabrics. I've got lots of little antique um, or vintage you know, laces, and then I've got these I've attached. Now, here's another snippet pocket. And then I did this stamped tag. Now this is a design team project uh, journal for Seneca Pond Craft. And I've used um, one of her kits. And I believe it's the Shabby Chic Journal Kit. But I will put the link below for that. I should have done this journal first. I had uh, got them in the wrong order. But this is um, some more various ephemera. I've made a little... Um, you guys know I love my fabric postcards, so I created a pocket out of this one. So I think that's come out really pretty. Everything's been tea dyed in here, and then there's also some avocado dyed paper. Lots of ephemera from various places, um, along with Seneca Pond's kit, and she's Eileen's very generous with her kits. You get a lot of ephemera and a lot of um, book page. Uh, journal pages. So this one's got a pocket here and then another pocket here and I've just filled them with various pieces of ephemera. Some more trim down there. Put the bag. Did some uh, punching. I've done snippet um, tabs in this one as well. Some music sheet. This is uh, some lined paper that's on the back. Um, another little journal card. And then this has got another journal card inside of it. And then uh, here I've just added various book pages. This was some little notebook paper. I thought it matched nicely with that. That's the center of the signature. I've got some little butterflies that I've cut out and attached. Oh, that one. I'll have to work on that. Oh, there we go. There's another little journal card. Some more stitching around that. And then on this one, I created a, another little journal card with some vintage lace. A little fussy cut. Here's just a um, altered paper clip, and then I did a little floating pocket with another journal card inside of there. And I'll come back to that. <laughs> 
and then this is clipped to that one. This is another uh, floating pocket here with a tag. Lots of old uh, papers on that. And that flips out. Some more punching. And then here, this is one of the tags that comes with the, um, the kit. I love those. And then I've created another little tuck spot there. Now, this was um, some postcards I told you I had that weren't particularly pretty or vintage. So rather than throwing them out because they're nice and sturdy, I just started collaging them with leftover scrap paper. So it's another nice little journaling card there. And then this pocket, you've got journal card, another tag, and then just various things from my stash. And I've been really, really trying to make an effort to um, look at these papers. Aren't they beautiful? I love working with this kit. I've worked with it several times now and I, I love it. Um, I should say I've backed it with um, some different... Now this isn't part of the kit, but it is just some other... Um, papers that I've got in my uh, stash. So, And this is a double pocket here. I've added a coloring book page because, I, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of nice to have something. I was putting those in all of my journals at one time and then I kind of got away from it and I found two coloring books and I thought, oh, you know, where it works I will add those doesn't always go with everything, but um, here's another one of the tags, and I love those. Um, some more of the avocado skin dyed paper, and just various tags. Like I said, I've got a whole um, bin just full of scraps, um, you know, leftovers from kits, because the kits I work with are really big, and Sometimes you can't fit everything in there. Um, another bag. Um, and then also your leftover scrapbook paper. So I'm trying to really get dwindle it down. But it just seems like I take one step forward and two backwards. Because as soon as I do another journal, I just more stuff to add to it. <laughs> but hopefully I'll start getting through it. Uh, here's another ultra paper clip, and then I've got another little floating pocket there I've made out of a um, envelope. So you've got a pocket there, and then another one there, and a, something different. I like working with envelopes. Um, they're nice, nice for um, creating pockets from... I love the colors in this journal. I think they're really, really pretty. Here's another one of the tags. And then there's... That should be in the other journal, really, Faith. But uh, it's in this one. And then here's another pocket for you to fill. Some more various ephemera. Love that tag. It's a really, really pretty kit. I've, I've been, I don't know how many journals I've created from this now. It's the papers. They are so pretty. Okay, and I didn't put a pocket on the back of this one, guys. So I don't know. I just uh, didn't feel it needed it. It's pretty chunky. So there you go. That's, um, I've named this one Hope. Uh, just because I couldn't think of another name. It's late and my brain's not working very well. So there is Faith and there's Hope. They're very similar in size. This one's a little bit bigger. Nine inches. This is eight. So the links will be below. The link to Eileen's shop, which is Seneca Pond Crafts, will be in the description box so you guys can check her out for this kit. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day and I will see you in a few days. <music>